Good morning, church, and welcome again to Nathan's Notes as we go through this season of Advent together. Today, our devotion will be coming out of Psalm 119, but it says this, It is not a co coincidence that most children squirm with anticipation and delight at the thought of Christmas's arrival. Little else rivals the joy of the day, especially when it's marked by the epitome of childhood pleasure, new gifts, sugary edibles, and permission to make a mess. Something hardwired in us craves relief from the pressure of life's daily liturgies. But as delectable dessert is better savor savored after a meal of vegetables, so too is the delight of Christmas after the delay given to us through Advent. There is wisdom here in this time-honored season, because it asks us to deny our knee-jerk reaction to rush toward the relief of celebration. What a gift it is to take all the time we need to prepare inwardly for the arrival of Christ. And then from Psalm 119, it says, Deal bountifully with your servant, so that I might live and observe your word. Open my eyes, so that I might behold wondrous, th wondrous things out of your law. I live as an alien in the land. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. Your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. This is the word of God, and thanks be to God. So, our picture today is called The Shepherds Went to See the Baby. And this is by uh, Dina Rowe Kendall. And I love this, this image of these children. And the question is, what are you looking forward to about Christmas this year? Now, that, that question might change depending on a lot of things. It might change a lot depending on your age. You might be saying, well, I'm looking forward to Christmas present A, B, or C that I'm uh, expectantly waiting for Santa Claus to bring me. For me this year, as I look towards Christmas, especially in the understanding that this year it's probably going to look different. Uh, I, I know that in some form or other we're still going to have all of our, our Christmas services, but this year it, it, it's going to look different. And what I hope for next year is, is that I'll have to figure out how to do everything that we normally do. But this year, as I look forward to Christmas, my big gift is the fact of where I live now. So for the, for, to give you an example, our schedule for the last 10 years of our life, well, for the first, uh, six, for the first five years of our marriage, uh, we rarely got the home, go home for Christmas because of the jobs we worked. Uh, it was just whenever we could get home, and sometimes that would be in December, sometimes it would be after January before uh, we could get our uh, schedules to line up. Uh, when we were in Petersburg for these last six years, we, we came home on Christmas Eve, but that was, that was, that was interesting. Uh, we would usually be leaving Petersburg after uh, Main, Street's, Main Street Charges services at somewhere between 7.30 or 8 p.m., and then we would make that three and a half, four hour drive uh, from Petersburg to Elkview. And we would generally get to my mother-in-law's house somewhere between midnight and 1 a.m. And then uh, just rush with excitement, of course, we would exchange some presents even that early in the morning. And it almost became a habit that we would stay up. And they would stay up to make sure they could see us and talk with us. And then we would go to bed and then get up early and start Christmas morning. But this year, our big Christmas gift is that we're 45 minutes away from everybody. So there is still going to be a Christmas Eve service of some kind. It might be online only. But we will have a Christmas Eve service. And I look forward to that. And I look forward to the day where we can have everybody in the same space, you know, passing around the candles and doing all, singing joy to the world, all the normal things that we usually do for Christmas Eve service. 
But this year I am looking forward to spending the holiday with my family, <laughs> not exhausted. This year I'm looking forward to watching a little boy run down the steps because Ho-Ho has come and he's going to get to see what's underneath the tree. This year, maybe it's just because I'm getting a little older, I'm looking forward to the people that I will be with more than anything else. And I know as I look forward to this Christmas for that reason that there are many of us who Christmas will seem darker this year because there will be empty spaces around the kitchen table. Whether it be that they cannot travel because of COVID or because the Lord has called them home this year. And can I tell you that I'm praying for you because Beth and I will be going through that and our family will be going through that this year. But I want you to know that I'm praying for you, that the Lord will still give you comfort and joy this Christmas season. It is with that anticipation that I can't wait till Christmas. It's in that same realm that we should be looking forward to the return of Christ. Like a little kid waking up on Christmas morning and running down the stairs to go see what's happened. We should be that kind of giddy, happy, looking forward to the return of Christ. So brothers and sisters, let me pray for us. Lord, I just pray your blessings upon all that hear this message. I pray that we have a Christmas list that is going to be answered this year. I pray for all those who will be able to gather with friends and family, and I pray for all those who will not, and I pray for all those who will feel the loss of somebody this year. So, Father, I just pray that you would hold all of us close to you and turn our eyes to your throne, and the promise, Lord, that it's going to be better. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bless you, church.